Hey everyone, I'm Bill. And I'm Bogna. And we're with Cali Moto TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to San Francisco, where behind us, we have the lovely Bay Bridge. And uh, well, behind us again, we have the city of San Francisco. We're on Treasure Island, uh, and it is a disastrous today so far. We um, we wanted to get out and take some uh, Instagram pictures for you guys, and um, it's just it's not going as planned. So we are going to give you guys a ride through San Francisco on our way over to the Golden Gate Bridge. So we thought I'd give you a little tour, and uh, as you guys, as you can see, I'm chesty camming it because. I have a brand new helmet, uh, the AGV K5 helmet is going to be our new vlog helmet, but I haven't gotten it completely together for you guys. I'm going to have a video for you guys, so stay tuned if you guys want to see all of my uh, vlog helmet put together, uh, stay tuned for that. So, but we're going to be running the chesty cam today and uh, give you guys a little experience. Tell me how you guys think of this on the new Street Fighter. If you guys like this view, maybe we'll do it a little bit more often in the twisties. So. Let's get across the rest of the Bay Bridge and into San Francisco and uh, tear it up a little bit. There's a couple tunnels in San Francisco, some good tunnels. So let's hooligan through San Francisco and uh, let's be on our way. All right, so we're going to get on the road here. Yeah, so we uh, came out and we thought this would be a nice area. It's a little closed road. Um, we thought it would be nice to come go there and take some shots and we got inundated with cars and inconsiderate people so uh, we've scrapped the whole idea we'll do photos another day uh, let's go for a ride through the streets of San Francisco now we are um, you, I don't you haven't been out of Dixon in like two months have you babe I mean, you haven't really left Dixon in a few months, have you? So, we just had, today was just, it rained this morning, and we just, we just had to get out. We had to get out of the house, and um, I've actually been to San Francisco, actually I go to San Francisco three times a week right now, um, doing some uh, moving deliveries and stuff like that, so um, I, I kind of get out, but Bogner sure doesn't, so. We thought, you know what, let's go take some shots. Nobody will be out. Wrong, oh wrong. So, oh, ooh, beautiful roads in San Francisco. So, as you guys, uh, as I said, uh, we did get a new vlog helmet. Uh, I had a um, AJV, uh, is it AJV? AVG? AVG? AGV, something like that. Um, and uh, to San Francisco. And um, yeah, I, uh, I, I wanted to get a new helmet. I've been wearing the shoe berth lately. And uh, huh, this is what I came up with, the K5. And uh, so far coming over here, I really like it. It's pretty comfortable. But I just wanted to throw it on today for these, uh, for these new shots, but so I threw a microphone in it and uh, tried to call it a day. So nice here. We get a little race start. So if you guys haven't seen this, this is so we're we're on the freeway basically, and we basically get to race start it. We're about just an hour um, east. Uh, we live an hour east of here, so a little bit ride here. Um, if you guys look over to the to the left here, this is um, that's where Alice's is. About another 30 miles down south, so we usually trailer down to there. But here in San Francisco, we're on the left side of San Francisco or the east side. I'm going to drive through San Francisco to the west side over there to Golden Gate Bridge. guys so we have just landed in downtown San Francisco 
and uh, we're just approaching over here to the left side uh, the new Salesforce tower this is the new tallest building in San Francisco so when you exit this is um Wagner was saying she sure doesn't miss this so she used to ride this ride every day uh, the company she works for her one of her main offices is here down in the financial district and uh, she used to ride it and she said she just doesn't miss it but um, I actually that would be like literally I'll be right here riding this is I'll go straight and then I'll go and then we and take a left yeah yep. and go right by your old office you guys moved since then right no actually we still haven't moved because of the corona thing oh corona uh, our, so, our stuff is in like a, a storage container now. Oh geez, so it's like an intermediate. I, I used to, I, babe, I used to love coming here. I used to love coming to San Francisco so much and it's just gotten, it's just gotten so bad. I mean, some people have commented on it, your video that you did. Uh, let's link that above because that's a cool video. I think um, if you want to watch Bogner commute one day to San Francisco, um, wild. We'll, uh, we'll link that above, but uh, a lot of people comment about how beautiful this city is. And it's, um, you know, look, there are some areas that are, are, are pretty decent, but just in general, it's just, uh, it's gotten really bad. So we're heading into the heart of the financial district. This is kind of the edge of it right here um, for you guys that know to the right is the pyramid right here in San Francisco is just a couple buildings down and then uh, we're gonna head up through Sutter and we're gonna go through the uh, Stockton we're gonna go through the Stockton tunnel to the Broadway tunnel <laughs> oh I'm even more ready So um, I have been with the shutdown, obviously my business shut down a couple months ago. So after a couple weeks of sitting at home, I couldn't do it anymore. Um, my cousin owns a moving business and he took a contract with a, uh, a food bank. And um, so I drive a moving truck right now, <laughs> as crazy as it is. Um, three days a week, I come to San Francisco and pick up food. And then I head down to San Jose and we do a couple pickups, we do a couple drop offs. So when I first, when this whole shutdown first originally started, um, God, there was nobody. You bought it was, toilet paper. It was, but it was eerie. It was eerie. Don't complain about the toilet paper. We still have some. So can we get real toilet paper? It's coming. It's coming. But uh, it was eerie through here, and uh, and then it's gradually, you know, every every day it gradually gets busier and busier. There's my old work. There's my work. Yep. Not old. Montgomery, and, Montgomery and Pine. So let's right take there. a left here. I'm excited to see the new office one day. Because you moved down down oh, Montgomery, right? Because we're on Montgomery right here. I have so no I think idea. You, I think you said it's down on the new Montgomery, right? I know I need a new uh, a new parking spot. Can't yeah, because that my was Stockton it. Sutter. Stockton Sutter, straight almost straight ahead. So let's turn left here. Oh, are we? Yep. So this is this is pretty this is pretty normal for San Francisco through the financial district on a weekend, but um, this is how it's been, you know, during the weekdays because obviously the, none of these buildings can be occupied right now. So. Um, What a crazy, it's just crazy. It, it trips me out because I've never been here without cars like that. I mean, yeah. normal, this is backed up back to back and I have to like lane split all the way down here to get home and here it's backed up and people try to kill you when you try to cross the street on a green light. So today coming here, I told Wagner through the Bay Bridge um, for the last almost month, uh, we have not hit any uh, the, the metering lights haven't been on in the Bay Bridge. You guys that are local to the area, you know that the metering lights are always basically they call uh, the um, the Bay Bridge a parking lot. How far back does the parking lot go? Um, but 
it's there was more more traffic today than uh, any other day that I've been coming through here for the last month so and uh, and you know as we somewhat expected you know things to start happening businesses starting to shut down um, good friend of mine James Vale with uh, Veo Optics uh, he had to shut his store down there oh they shut that new store down yeah he had to shut it down Aww. I mean rent is astronomical through there so um, Homer with rims and goggles is shut down up there already and then uh, let's get you guys a little tunnel run hear my own bike I'm very sad <laughs> so uh, we've just crossed into welcome to Chinatown just like that um, here is the uh, the entrance one of the entrances to Chinatown and it's just crazy to go through such a cultural difference in San Francisco to go from, you know, one area, like the financial area. We were just dabbling into what they call Union Square. Union Square is where basically all the shopping and tourists is. And then, uh, and then we poke out of the tunnel and here we are in Chinatown. Beautiful roads. So here we are, you know, it's, you get, in, get into this and look at all the people that are here. And... Wow. So we're going to go up one block, make it left. So one of my uh, favorite uh, Chinese place is down here on the right, uh, Brandy Hose. Oh, I love that place. One of my all-time favorite Chinese places just around the corner here. Um, so we are on the edge of North Beach now. So if you look just ahead, you'll start to see a little bit of Italian, a restaurante, and uh, some Chinese stinking still over rose. here. But uh, to the right is the Stinking Rose. Mm, I love the Stinking Rose. So North Beach is uh, where all the Italian shops are and everything. We're going to take a left here. Yes. By the police station. <laughs> Just creep by here. Nothing to see. Nothing Hi to see here. Nothing to see. And another left. So in San Francisco, there's uh, uh, like most big cities, and there's one one-way streets everywhere. So you got to be able to navigate through. And uh, welcome to the Broadway Tunnel. I believe there are signs that say quiet through the tunnel. But come on I was you guys. Quiet. Come I was on quiet. you guys. We got to we got to get we got to get some sound through there. So uh, We're going straight or right? Or we're going to go straight and then right. And just like that we're out of Chinatown and we're now in the Polk area. So 
this is Polk Street. This used to be the, um, uh, how do you say it, the politically correct. This is the, um, pr this used to be the pride area back in the 80s until the pride area moved to the Castro. So uh, Polk Street used to be kind of before pride um it was uh it was this is kind of the area and then so this is developed into kind of a hodgepodge of of different things there's some chinese foods and um yeah, just a little bit of everything down polk street and the main drag this is venice this is kind of the heart of the run through. This is like almost like the main freeway or the main thoroughfare through uh, San Francisco. So when you come from Marin County, which is on the other side of the Golden Gate Bridge, and you want to get down to like, um, you know, South San Francisco, you would come through the city through here to catch up to 101 on the other side of the city. It's not just some uh, freeway that runs through the city. You actually have to drive through the city in order to get to the freeway to continue going south. <laughs> And uh, let's take, you want to take one quick to, one quick detour? Uh, sure. Take one quick detour. We're going to take a right here. This is Lombard Street, if it sounds familiar. Lombard is, or was, I believe they lost their title. The crookedest, uh-oh. Oh, sorry about that, babe. The crookedest street in the world. So we won't go to the top there. We'll, uh... See if we can milk this out. You okay? I'm going, I'm going. And then take a left here, sorry. I had one instruction, don't go up any steep hills. My Short bad, people babe. problems. Short people's problems. Well, uh, at the top of that hill is Lombard Street, where we're not going, and then uh, that spits down and uh, we come into the Fisherman Wharf area, which is straight ahead of us. It's actually the Maritime Museum straight ahead. Nice view. So you can see the San Francisco Bay, and uh, it's windy, white caps, white caps like crazy. So to the right would take us back towards the Bay Bridge and uh, Fisherman's Wharf and Pier 39. But we're going to take a left here and head down to the marina area. You guys uh, are familiar with the 1989 earthquake. This is the area that got the hardest hit. So Marina, the Marina District, which is straight ahead of us, it's all actually built on landfill. So it's um, very kind of soft ground. So when the earthquake hit in 89, a lot of these buildings collapsed on themselves. So a lot of the big fires and everything that happened in 1989 earthquake um, was most of it, what you remember seeing was all in this district in this area. Of course, the Bay Bridge, uh, the new side that we started off looking at with the big tower, that's the new Bay Bridge. Um, the old one collapsed in the 89. They repaired it, but uh, decided to build the new one recently. But if you are lucky enough 
to own a home down here in the marina. Um, one of my favorite spots, probably the one, of, probably one of the only areas that I would live in here in San Francisco is down here in the marina. And because uh, it's a uh, Actually, it's not really a quiet street because obviously you can see a lot of people are heading through the area from uh, from Marin, heading over to San Francisco or vice versa. We're heading towards Marin across the Golden Gate Bridge. So it's a bit busy through here, but they have uh, this area is called the Marina Greens. So they have a lot of exercise stuff and a lot of bikes, uh, bike paths and workout areas and whatnot over here to the right. And as you can see, um, plenty of people. Oh, wow, that is crazy how many out people are out today. in the Today, people are ready for this shutdown to be done. Uh, for you guys that are in, in other countries, it's um, it's just, it, it, it's, it's not been and hasn't been and won't be like what you guys have seen, not to get too far into it, but it's, um, we had a little shocker, but then it's just basically like this, you know, everyone's cooped up, everyone wants to get out of the house, so. So if we look over to the left, you'll see there's a white Tesla in the driveway. And uh, I mentioned my good friend James with Pay James with uh, Veo Optics. That's his beautiful home, or one of his beautiful homes there. And uh, and then we spit out into the Marina Greens. And wow. Jesus. Woo. Well. Welcome to Shutdown 2020. <laughs> so you know, um, you know, when I first came to the States and I was like, oh my god, the Golden Gate Bridge and I must go see it and you know, like this is like being from Europe, this is what like I you know, that's what San Francisco like if I think of San Francisco as that bridge and then I rode over it, I'm like, it's much redder on TV than it is here. What's going on? Where's my red paint? Yeah, the Golden Gate Bridge is, um, it's, uh, they, they paint the bridge, uh, basically year round. So, um, it takes them about, I think 10 years to completely paint the bridge. So they, they start on one end and they basically paint it and they get to the other end and then they, they start painting it again. Um, and, uh, with this, well, I don't know. Uh, I, you, some of you guys know I'm into diesels and I've got the delete the diesel the DPF system uh, and the urea that uh, big trucks run um, have basically been linked to a lot of uh, corrosion in the air in the area and being that we have so many trucks run through here um, they're noticing that the bridge is um, starting to need to be painted every five years instead of every ten years so it's kind of interesting kind of interesting but but, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's almost like the Statue of Liberty in New York, babe. Um, when the first time I saw the Statue of Liberty in New York, uh, people that visit New York and go to see the Statue of Liberty, you know what I'm talking about. Um, a little bit disappointing. <laughs> like, like you see it and you're like, wait, that's it? <laughs> yeah, that was um, kind of my, I was like, I was all excited and I wanted to film that I'm going over the Golden Gate Bridge and then I was like, huh, really? That's that. Yeah. And of course, you know, I grew up on the other side of the Golden Gate Bridge. So, I, you know, this has been, it's for, for me, it's just, uh, it's all, it's, it's all normal to me. It doesn't seem, it's just, yeah, there's the Golden Gate Bridge, but uh, directly to the right of us is uh, Alcatraz. I still haven't been there. You know, I hadn't been there in all my life until I was about 32, 35 maybe. And uh, yeah, I, I hadn't been there and, and, uh, and I went there and was like, eh, it's, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool, but uh, it wasn't, I don't know. If you're a history buff, like that's the only thing I was really, I, I thought was uh, more of the more of the artifacts was kind of the cool part to me. 
scenery and everything, I'm like, normal. <laughs> so let's hop on 101 South or North. And uh, you guys are hanging in there. A few more minutes, we'll take you across the Golden Gate Bridge. And uh, you know, I bet where I wanted to end the vlog over in San Francisco, uh, over in Marin, they probably have that area closed off. So this is all new road if for people that maybe have been to San Francisco that haven't been here in a few years. Uh, this is all new, so it's very nice. Uh, a lot less traffic. They opened it up quite a bit. Now, um, I'll tell you, uh, if you guys are looking to come to San Francisco, I'll tell you when to come and when not to come. So, I think Frank Sinatra said it best. The coldest winter he ever experienced was a summer in San Francisco. <laughs> so, in San Francisco, during the summer, it's the worst time to come to San Francisco because the fog rolls in and uh, it, it's basically 50... 55 degrees it's freezing most of the time and uh, so the best time to come to San Francisco is April May and so right about now it's a little bit a little bit off today just because we had some rain this morning um, probably our last rain of the year or well for the season but uh, so April May and then uh, September, October is the other time. So those are, uh, if you guys are planning on coming to visit San Francisco, um, those are the ideal times. And uh, San Francisco, so look up, babe. It's crazy. Yeah. See the tower, is, it's, it's already corroded, so. Yeah. I thought it would be more red. Like, I, I expected it to be red, red, like. Yeah. Like the Ducati red, not that yeah. red. Well, so, well, well. You know, and, and things like so. This barrier uh, for the early no, or, or early day people that know uh, San Francisco, they used to have little cones that used to divide the bridge, and there used to be so many head-on accidents here on the bridge. And they finally got approved a few years back um, this uh, movable barrier. So what they do is they move the barrier, and on uh, morning traffic. They give you four lanes over here and two lanes over here and evening traffic they move it back over and they give you four lanes over here and uh two lanes over there so i see cars up there so let's see if we might we might have the vista point open ramp closed ahead so i guess it's closed It is closed, so the cars that are up there are... So let's dip down into San Francisco, or into Sausalito. And, uh... You probably need gas soon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I haven't run out yet. So, um, for you guys that, uh haven't followed or seen um the last time actually the last time i rode this thing um i took it out and uh well ran it just just a little hard and uh ended up taking too many too many roads and uh ended up uh running out of gas two miles back from town at winters where i was planning on getting gas so I had to get my nephew, thank you nephew, for heading out and uh, bringing me a gallon of gas. Which uh, on this Ducati almost topped off the tank. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so where we're heading now is um, is Sausalito. Sausalito is the, uh, the city that just basically overlooks San Francisco. So, um, I, I have a lot of, uh, What's going on over here family. on that bicycle? Yeah. <laughs> Aerodynamics, bro. 
So I have a lot of family history uh, here in Sausalito. Um, my great grandmother and grandfather um, owned a lot of property here in Sausalito. And then uh, my grandfather and uh, grandmother married here and my mom was born here in Sausalito. So, um, so I have a little bit of history. Too bad that I still don't have it in my history because um, the house that that was uh, that my my great grandparents built and uh, owned, I think last time sold for 2.5 million dollars. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. That's, think, that's the ranch that I want and yeah. then some. Well, that's yeah. We we're looking at 75 acre ranch in Texas, 1.5 million, but ooh, Texas, we we might be we might be on our way. I saw a meme the other day about like you know the the, the dude looking at the check and holding oh. the girlfriend's hand. It was like Californians, California, California Texas. Texas, yeah. And, and then, then the, the next one is like. <laughs> That was that was pretty hilarious. The Texas guy was holding the Texans were holding the Californian guy looking back at Texas. It was it was pretty funny. Good one. But uh, oh, word, word, word on the street is uh, Elon Musk might have uh, might have uh, or might be pulling the plug on California. I think he found some prop or found some facilities in Texas. I mean, that's like all, a lot of the big companies do that. They go to oh, yeah. Vegas, they go to Texas. Austin is kind of, you know, a lot of my gaming is moving to Texas. So I'm like, oh, um, yeah. hello. Tons, big tax breaks and everything. And, you know, here in California, I can't imagine what taxes is going to look like after this whole pandemic and everything. So crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, but this is uh, by far one of my favorite um, housing areas because uh, let's flip to Bogner's camera, look to the left, look at these amazing houses, and then look to the right, what we get to look at. So my favorite house um, is this one over to the left, this uh, kind of modern style house. I absolutely love this home. And then the home above it is uh, absolutely gorgeous. That one's very nice up there too. So this is Sausalito, Tiburon, Angel Island. So a lot of uh, a lot of cool little spots. Looks like that's got a vacancy. Move over here, babe. I'm ready to go to like Santa Cruz or something. Like not Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz, but that area. I don't know. I guess this is a special place in my heart because I grew up here and I, I would love to be able to someday afford to be back here but on the flip side um i don't know where you would park your super beast so there is a lot of other places that i could go and still have a ton of money in the bank and uh yeah and there you go so for rent empty jewelry stores empty 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 so all these places had to shut down because empty. Um, the rent here is probably, you know, fifty thousand uh, dollars a month uh, a month on some of these places, and a lot of these places are shut down. It's just another empty store, another empty store, another empty store. Wow. That's starting to get depressing now. Well, let's roll up here and uh say goodbye to you guys <sighs> get a little stretch quick moment oh. and that's it here we are in sausalito oh that was the restaurant we went here out there that one time oh the one that it took forever to get our food Forever. they haven't decorated since like the 1950s <laughs> Yeah. So. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, here we are in Sausalito. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I know it's probably a little bit long, but um, 
It's a good ride through San Francisco. And uh, a lot of mods are coming to this. Hey, got, look at that. Look at that booty. That's look at new, the tail. Look at the tail. And uh, we got some, we got a big box coming tomorrow. What's in the big box? I can't tell anybody. Oh, come and on. Uh, no, I want to know. Recall announced this morning on the shifter. So we've got to figure that out. Going back to the dealer on Tuesday, um, but we have a lot more bits coming to the bike, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and of course, leave us a comment down below. How'd you guys like to ride through San Francisco? Maybe someday we'll come back. She hates it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next video. Bye bye.